Coach Pittman, in the first quarter, they had the ball for 12 minutes and 39 seconds. You had it for 221, yet they only had a 3 nothing lead. How big a bullet did you miss dodge there, Coach? I thought that was big, you know. They, they basically, I think they had it, I can't remember how many minutes, but I, they had it. They had a majority, obviously. I think we had three possessions in the first half. But you're right in the first quarter uh, to not be uh, down any any more than we were. It was a it was a big deal. Hatch, I think maybe they might need to. I can't hear them very good. Yes, Sam. Uh, what was your message at halftime? What do you think led to that uh, dramatic turnaround? Well, the players did, but you know. I've been coaching a long time, and 13 points, you know, it's not like we were down 50. And our and our locker room felt a little down whenever uh, – so I just said, hey, look, man, we're going to get the ball. We're going to go score. Your defense is going to hold them. We're going to be up before you know it. Just keep the faith. I, you know, our defense had, had kind of figured them out a little bit uh, late in the second quarter. Our offense had just shot themselves in the foot. The Tennessee had done a nice job on defense, and – We'd missed a field goal, but, um, you know, it's all I, – I told them the mind's so powerful, and your mind needs to tell you that we're going to go win the game, and here's how we're going to do it. And I didn't want to see any negative – you know, I didn't want to see any heads hanging or anything like that because it was only a 13-point game. Um, Sam, the first drive of the third quarter – first drive of the third quarter, you went 4-4 on third down conversions and it scored how, how big was that to kind of get the, the flow going well it was huge and I think uh, a bunch of them where we turned around handed it off to Boyd or Traylon Smith you know and I, I tell you I, I was really proud of our offensive line sometimes statistics you know they'll have sacks and this that and the other but I'm proud of that group you know they're coming on they're getting better you know that's we, we're almost at 200 yards again this week and and I'm just really proud of, of the guys coaching the O-line and, and the way our O-line is playing. Scotty. Hey, Coach, in the third quarter, your offense scores 24 points. Defense gives up 16 yards. Was that was that your guys playing their, their best yeah, ball? I think they played pretty good. I mean, uh, 24 points and 16 yards, they, you know, they, I tell you what, momentum's so, you know what the momentum is, and we had it, and uh, we rode it at least all the way through the third quarter, and, and, uh, and our defense was on shutdown, you know, in the second half, and when they went one for eight on third down, that's, that's big, but it was manageable, you know, we, you know, we, we were able, it wasn't third and ones, you know, third and four, third and five, we got a chance. Nikki. Coach, did you guys make a, a concerted effort to take bigger shots in, in, that th in the third quarter, or is that just kind of what came up? Um, or was it because, like, you realized maybe, like, in the first half, Tennessee might eat up so much time that you just needed some big wins? No, we, we did talk about making – you know, we had to make some explosive plays. You know, we had to get, get our engine revved up, you know, and, and – uh, Mike did, and, and well, there's a lot of guys did, and of course, Traylon did, and but Felipe threw them, you know, and the line uh, protected it. But we did needed something momentum wise, some kind of big play to get us kind of going, and and it seemed like there were several of them, just boom, 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 and even some, you know, some decent runs in there had some good yardage on them as well, and and so um, no, I think it was just us calling our offense, but Kendall. You know, guys, Kendall's a really good offensive coordinator. I mean, everybody can sit around at home and say, oh, I wouldn't have called this. Well, he wouldn't either if he'd known it wasn't going to work. Uh, but the guy's an incredible offensive coordinator, and I'm damn happy that he's the offensive coordinator here at Arkansas. Bob. Sam, what did you think of Felipe's game overall? And you know, he's done pretty well against the Vols. He's 3-0 and against them. Is that anything you guys looked back at or took into consideration? Just what do you think of his play, especially in that third quarter? Well, we, we count on Felipe. He's, he's our guy. And I'm glad that he's done well against Tennessee. And, 
a tough guy. You know, he did some things with his legs again. You know, he made some key runs in there. I think a couple of them, one at least was on third down that he ran down the middle of the field. And, and uh, he, you know, he was banged up and, and played. And uh, he's our leader and he's our bell cow or however you want to say it. And uh, he had another really good ball game, and took care of the football, had the one fumble, but we, we recovered it. Okay, Biddy. Hey, Coach, I was curious about um, the defensive, uh, the defensive stands in the in the second half. It seemed like they were just running at will at the first half. What, what adjustments were made um, at halftime? Well, like I said, I think we put some guys uh, a little bit more on the edge. We 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 were a little tighter for the cutback lane. Um, Barry uh, switched it up and threw, uh, probably ran a little bit more field pressure. He'd been running some boundary pressure, and and uh, we played a lot of uh, four and three man line just like we did in the first half. But our, our kids really they kind of had them figured out. They kind of you know the double teams and the single blocks and all this kind of stuff. They they'd kind of figured out how to how to beat them there at the end of the second quarter. And I just think they were really confident going out and uh, that we could get it done. Great shot. Coach, how big was it to have Hudson Henry play through what looked like some obvious pain, specifically there in the third quarter, to be able to stay in when you guys were trying to go quick? Yeah, that was big, you know. Um, that you know we we didn't want him to come out but we also didn't want him to get hurt you know it's just kind of a fine line in there and we figured if we could score he'd come out you know he's not on the PAT team so we we was trying to wait to do, get him out for scoring Ty Was that me Kyle Hi. Yeah, Todd. Um, coach, just with Felipe's play tonight, made a lot of downfield throws, 75%. What did you see from him just on, on his downfield throws tonight, 30, 40 plus yards? You know, he's a good, he, he, he throws the long deep ball well, you know, he does. And he throws it, you know, with the right amount of speed, accuracy, you know, he can lob it, he can drill one. I mean, he's got an incredible strength on, on his arm. Uh, but that's what he does well. You know, he'll throw that little slant route well, too. And But uh, he, he he's really good at throwing the deep ball and, and showed it again tonight. Dorian. Hey, Coach. I was just wondering if you could touch on the play of Blake Kern tonight. Uh, had a couple of big catches for you, his first career touchdown, and just the evolution of his play as a pass catcher and what he means to your offense. Yeah, isn't that something? I mean, he's he really done well this year. You know, I don't know what he did last year and all that stuff, but the guy's valuable. I mean, to think that he probably didn't play much before, I you know, they must have some really, really good tight ends. But he's really got a lot of value. His blocking's getting better. He can catch the football. And, you know, he runs pretty well with it when he catches it. So very, very proud of him. Tom. Sam, what was the locker room scene like, and did you get, get to reel off a of, turn on the damn jukebox line on them again? Locker room was kind of morbid, you know. Nobody was excited. <laughs> uh, let's see. The locker room was fun. That's why you coach. You want those those moments. You want that time. You want to be with your kids and see their faces. That's one of the reasons why you coach. It's awesome. And did we turn the jukebox on? Absolutely. Let me know if you got more in the chat. Hutch. Yeah, Coach, what gave you the confidence to, to trot Reed out there for the 48-yarder after uh, missed a couple of those last week and also missed the short one earlier in the game? Because I knew he'd make it. You know, if you give up on a kicker, you might as well just go for it all the time. And I told him, I said, hey, I got the ultimate confidence in you. And 
I know you're going to make the next one. And he did. Now, it was huge, by the way, you know, putting us up 11. But I've got confidence in him because I see him every day at practice. And, um, and I'm sure he appreciates that. But I appreciate him. He did a nice job. Bob. Sam, I figured you guys would probably get a pick tonight. I don't necessarily think I would have picked Eric Gregory. What what did you think of the big guy uh, getting a pick there, those hands? Well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know he got a pick. But since he did, I'm really happy, and he's got really good hands. I don't know. I, I didn't know he got a pick. But I'm glad he did. It, it, it was on that fourth down play. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad he did. Did he did he return it much at all? Or? Well, no, he kind of caught it and then fell down. But, I mean, you know, he, he got a pick. I'm glad he did. We'll mention it to Monday in our good, bad, and ugly. Hopefully it'll be on the good. <laughs> Tom, did you have one more? Yeah, the, um, the, the play that Burks caught for the touchdown, was he the first option? I mean, how did that play develop? No, he just – he saw Felipe scramble, and, you know, he had scramble rules. We had one low, one high, one in the middle, and he ran, you know, everybody hitting the sideline, and he ran across the field hitting that middle middle of the low, middle high. That's scramble rules. And uh, Felipe saw him, threw it to him, and he did the rest. Last one, Ty. Sam, you mentioned the excitement in the locker room. Do you remember the song came on after you say, turn that damn jukebox on? I do not. I don't know. It was so loud in there. I, I have no idea what it was. Sorry. All right, that's going to wrap us up with the coach. Thanks, coach.